Today, Coach Rodney Hennon from Georgia Southern University is back to talk with us about some more tips for infielders. Stay tuned to Clubhouse Gas. That ball, we really got to work to in the hole to our glove hand side. Brian may have to feel that ball outside of his feet with one hand. Okay, in that case, he's going to try to really work to get his hips around. All right, go ahead. Back in line with the first baseman. And at times, his momentum is going to take him. And a lot of times we've got to reach for this ball outside of our feet. He may have to reverse pivot to get his front shoulder and hips back in line with the first baseman. We talked earlier about making every throw right up here on top. All right, there's some exceptions there too. That, that ball that we really have to work to, the guy getting down the line pretty good. And here's an example. Brian may not be able to throw from right here. He may have to drop his arm a little bit. All right, but even when he throws from down here, a little more on the side or three quarters, he's going to keep his fingers behind that baseball, all right, and not drop them underneath. Let's see if I can roll you a few over there. We'll see if we've got enough room here. All right, we're going glove hand side. Let's see if I can make him work on this one a little more. Now we've got to talk about the ball hit to the other side, our backhand side. We're going to start out with what we call a V-cut. Okay, now there again, if we have an opportunity to get our body behind the baseball and square it up, we want to do so. Okay, that's a decision we've got to make. We've walked into the pitch, the ball is hit, open up, cross over. Now, Brian's got to make a decision at some point whether or not he's going to need to backhand this ball or he can get behind it and V-cut. On a V-cut, I'm just going to leave you a steel ball there. Again, we're gauging what is going to be the best hop we can get, at what point we can get there. And once we do, Brian is really going to plant hard off that right foot, okay? All his momentum right now, if he's playing shortstop, all his momentum is taking him toward the left field foul line. Okay, so he's got to plant hard and get his momentum moving back through the baseball toward first base. Okay, now, this is a play. Earlier, we talked about the glove hand eye. Not concerned with that here, all right? We may not be able to get perfectly squared up with this baseball. So if we feel this ball a little bit more to our throwing hand side in this instance, that's okay. All right, because chances are too, if we lose this ball on the exchange or, or, or bobble this ball, we're probably not gonna have a play anyway. Okay, but the key is that plant foot. We're gonna plant hard. Brian's gonna step across right over left and really work to get his momentum moving back toward first base. And even more important, that we get the arm on top to finish that throw and follow our throw back toward our first baseman. All right. Let's demo a few here. All right, just watch his footwork. All right, notice how he gets behind the baseball and gets his body moving back through the baseball. All right, he's not going to stand straight up. But everything gets moving back toward first base. You don't have to have the strongest arm in the world to, to be a good infielder. All right? You can get away with a little less arm if, if you know how to use your feet correctly. Okay, now the backhand. Again, ball hit to the same side. Now after we've taken our crossover step, we're traveling low, we see that we're going to have to backhand this ball. Notice Brian opened his glove up. He's taken his glove hand elbow kind of up and out, all right? He is fielding this ball, and if you notice again, he's bent at the knees, at the waist, 
His head is down, eyes are down on the same plane as the baseball, and he's going to field this ball probably six, eight inches out in front of his foot, okay, the glove hand foot. Common mistake here, a lot of times guys have a tendency to overrun this ball. If I overrun this ball and feel the ball behind my foot, I'm going to lose sight of it. All right? But as he fields this ball, notice he's, he's spread this glove open. Okay, we're going to field this ball a little bit deeper in our glove. All right, the only time as an infielder we really want to catch the ball more in our web is on the backhand play. Okay, and we're going to do this by taking our thumb and our pinky finger and kind of squeezing them together. At the same time, Brian is going to kind of lead through this ball with the elbow. He's going to have a stiff wrist. He's going to kind of lead through, just pick through the ball slightly by leading with the elbow. I'll roll it in there. It's kind of okay. From there, again, right foot very important. He's going to plant hard on his right foot, get his hands to his throwing shoulder, and get back on top of that throw. And again, we want to exaggerate following our throw through to our target. All right. Once again, our momentum is moving out toward left field. We got to plant, and we really got to work on getting on top. All right, one thing that helps as we plant, take our chin and shoulder back toward that first baseman. That's going to help us get our hips around, get our arm up on top, and get some momentum moving back toward first base. All right. Ready? Now, when we do these drills, in the infield. We don't just field the ball and flip it back to our partner. Notice Brian gets his feet set every time. We don't actually throw the ball, but we always want to get into a position and get in the habit of being in our throwing position. 